The drought that made California thirsty from 2011 to 2016 vastly impacted the bountiful, diverse crops that the Golden State is known for. Almonds, California's number one egg export, was one of many crops that changed its watering ways by being more strategic to keep production going now and in the future. My name is Raj. I work with uh, my family here at Mina Farms. Uh, we're located in south end of Gustine, western Merced County. We grow all trees. We have almonds, walnuts, and cherries are our main crops. We are giving pistachios a try. My family started farming about 20 years ago. After a rough couple years getting started, they kind of got the hang of it. And ever since we've done, you know, we've done okay, but definitely these last five, six years have been a challenge with, with the limited resources because, you know, it's commonly known there's three secrets to farming. It's water, water, and water. Without that, nothing you do matters. That five-year lack of water brought hardships to farms all across California including Raj's. But that's where UC Cooperative Extension Advisor David Dahl came into play, assisting this family farm. Almonds being a perennial crop, our stress that we applied to the tree this year impacts not only the crop this year, but also reduces our ability to produce almonds next year. There's many different ways to manage stress within orchards. So when you're looking at the amount of water you have available, strategizing how to apply that through the season is critical. And so we provide some different strategies that should be employed to help manage the stress level within the orchard uh, based on the amount of water that farmers have available within a drought year. I would say our water management has improved considerably because it had to. I mean, if, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't still be farming. Raj also learned a thing or two during the stress of the drought. Uh, less kind of playing stuff by ear. When you're so regulated in the water that you have, you have to allocate it very carefully. Uh, we have spent a lot of money these last few years in uh, soil moisture monitoring, where we can actually look and see exactly how much water is in the soil and available to the trees because over-irrigating is just not an option anymore. Raj utilizes various water-saving techniques on his farm, from drip irrigation to using special technology to monitor how much water is currently in each tree. So this is what's called a nitrogen pressure chamber, um, more commonly known as a pressure bomb. You pluck them off the tree and you basically insert the stem of the leaf through this here so you can see the stem poking out in the end. And then what happens is it pressurizes the chamber that the leaf is in with nitrogen and you look at how many bars of pressure it takes for water to come out of the stem. David actually uh, told us about this nearly a decade ago and we've been using it nearly as long. All these practices kind of came into play as farmers managed this drought and probably helped us really bring what we thought we knew through the research that's been developed over the 30 to 40 years and put it into practice on the ground to show that it is effective and it is successful. You always have to keep adapting and changing and improving because without that, I mean, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. There's no such thing as staying at the same level anymore because we got to do what we can to take advantage. And, you know, not to sound like a, like a hippie, but feed the world, you know? I mean, that's what we do out here. For more information, go to this University of California Drought Tips webpage.